This is a tutorial on how to get Minecraft running on your Steam Deck using Prism Launcher. Uh, there is another way to do this, which I've actually created a little short video on, which is actually quicker to set up than Prism Launcher is. But there's an unfortunate bug in that process, which makes it so that you have to log into your account every time you run Minecraft. So it's up to you. If you want basically the quickest way that I know how to get Minecraft running. Head over to the short video, which I'll link over here. Otherwise, if you don't mind putting in a little bit of extra effort up front, then stick around in this video and I'll show you how to set up Prism Launcher. Okay, so firstly, you're going to need to own a copy of Minecraft, including the Java edition, and it needs to be linked to your Microsoft account. And assuming you have this, then I would recommend using a mouse and keyboard for the setup. It's just gonna make things a little bit easier. You don't have to, you can always just use the on-screen uh, shortcuts and your trackpads etc it's just gonna be a little bit trickier that way and take take you a little bit longer maybe but basically once your Steam Deck is powered up you're gonna switch to desktop which you can do by holding in the power button and then navigating down to switch to desktop then once you've switched to desktop just open up your default browser and then make sure that you're signed into your Microsoft account in that browser and then you're going to launch the discover software center which you can just find in your application launcher there and once you've done that, you will run a search for Prism Launcher. And once it's returned, you're going to click Install. Then you should see it downloading. And then once that's done, you're going to search for it in the application launcher. Prism. You're going to run that. Go to the top right. It should just say Account or Profiles. And then just click on Manage Accounts and then add Microsoft. And then because you've previously logged into your default browser, it should just launch into this authentication window where you will find a code, which you need to copy. And you can literally click this button that also says open page and copy code. And then you are going to paste it in there, click next. And then you're going to need to log in with your password over there, sign in. It'll ask you if you want to let Prism Launcher access your account. And you're going to click Accept. And you can close that page if you like. But then if you just head back to Prism Launcher, you'll see it just finishes off. It's set up there and sign in. And now we're going to click Add Instance. And I've literally just left everything as default. Click OK. Now to add Prism Launcher to Steam, what you can do is launch Steam from your desktop, click add a game in the bottom left hand corner, add a non-Steam game, and we are going to just look for Prism Launcher. As you can see, it's right over there, the Prism Launcher, add selected programs, then we should see it, hopefully, turn up here in our list of games. Yes, there it is, Prism Launcher. And then once that's done, we can return to gaming mode. And then we will head to our library and down to non-Steam. And then Prism Launcher should show up under your non-Steam games. So we're going to open that up. Before we launch Prism from Steam Gaming Mode, we are going to go to that controller layout over there and we're going to choose a custom layout. Uh, so hit that over there. And what I'm going to do is, let's move across to the community layouts. You might get a different list of options to me, but just try a few out and see if they work. I'm gonna go with the very first one here, Minecraft Basic Setup, and you'll see. You just click Apply with the X button and we'll go back and then we will launch the game or launch prism launcher and then from there you hit the launch button and although it looks like i can't use my controller pad in the menu i can still use the touch screen let's see what happens when we launch a game the left stick works okay the right stick doesn't so Let's try a different controller setup. So Minecraft Basic didn't work very well. Uh, what I will do instead is Minecraft modded Steam controller. 
and see if that works a little bit better. Hit apply once again. Yeah, there you go. It's better. Hello, piggy. And there we have it. Beautiful. This is actually a great game.